for this article, I'm going to criticize this article for the writing first and then address the problem. The final sentence in the article states the author's point clearly. So while the Internet has been generally a wonderful addition to our lives, it has created some problems too. Okay, so mostly good, some bad. Opening sentence. It's hard to argue that Korea's rapid rate of connectivity to the Internet can be anything but an asset to the country in the future. Now, what does this sentence mean? It is hard to argue, that is, it is wrong to say, pushing it a little further, that Korea's connectivity is a good thing. In other words, Korea's connectivity is mostly a bad thing. The author got caught in his own words, uh, it is hard to argue that, forget, forgot that, and then made the statement that he really means. Uh, so, point, clarity is best, especially in an argumentative uh, or persuasive essay. What you want to do is persuade, so clarity, simplicity and absolute clarity are necessary. And one must avoid the temptation of these, uh, to use these, somewhat obscure but apparently elegant constructions like it is hard to argue that which in this case confused our author okay our author's point is that mostly internet uh, uh, connectivity is a good thing for Korea he points out that the government actually uh, this was a planned uh, what shall I say um, a planned, uh, a planned phenomenon by the Korean government to connect Korea. Uh, mostly it's been a good thing, but there are some negative features. One negative feature is the uh, addiction, internet addiction. And it's argued that uh, as many as 11% of teenagers, I think, are showing signs of internet addiction. Uh, the most obvious uh, social expression of this, I suppose, is the PC bong. And yes, some people spend all night, I've seen it too, uh, I saw it three or four years ago when I went sometimes, um, all night at the PC bong. Uh, addiction to computer games. Now, how widespread is this danger? 10%. That's too much, I admit. But... Uh, certainly people become addicted to it. Now, I remember an essay that I read and taught in uh, College English uh, 20 years ago and 10 years ago uh, called TV Addiction. Uh, 20 years ago, TV addiction seemed to some people a, a uh, significant social phenomenon. Now, uh, let's discuss addiction. Addiction means dependence. Addiction means dependence, that is, I depend on it to feel good, to feel like I'm uh, in my normal, um, to feel good about being alive. Uh, I depend on TV viewing, or I depend on computer games, or PC bong activities, or internet. Uh, this dependency is what constitutes addiction. Um, and certainly it's possible to be addicted, and there are people who are addicted. Now, what creates this dependency? Um, a Probably negative feelings about other aspects of my life. That is, I take shelter. I seek shelter in TV absorption. I seek shelter in computer uh, activity from other aspects of my life. I don't feel good about school. I don't feel good about friendships. I don't feel good about the future. I don't feel good about uh, uh, normal activities. I also don't even feel good about drinking or something like that. Though, of course, alcohol is yet another addiction, uh, a dependency, when one doesn't feel good about other aspects of one's life. Uh, the addict has to recognize this about himself. Uh, this is where alcohol addiction begins, that is, in the open, frank, candid acknowledgement that one is an alcoholic. Uh, that's hard to do uh, without evasions. And other forms of, uh, of addiction operate in exactly the same way. 
uh, one feels safe in one's dependency upon whatever this thing is, alcohol or TV or uh, internet or whatever. Now, other, as other negative aspects about this connectivity, good word, uh, pornography, sure, uh, even child pornography uh, is mentioned, and then a suicide website, and then a weapons website. These are negative features of this connectivity. I think mostly people overreact when uh, when some 13-year-old jumps off a balcony and kills himself because he uh, consulted the suicide website. Of course, what we're into here is freedom of speech, freedom of the press, because uh, the freedom to set up websites for almost anything uh, these freedoms are covered by freedom of the press. And when governments intervene and prevent things like this, the world becomes a little more less dangerous or more dangerous. Well, this is, this is the real debate. This is the real debate. The real debate is about freedom. Uh, the real debate is about government control or freedom. Generally, America, American society has chosen freedom. Uh, American society, here I'm digressing, but I'm not, because I think this is the heart of the issue. Amer the American experiment, because that's what America is, an experiment. The American experiment has decided that freedom is better than control. And I think rightly has decided that we should control only in very serious situations. And we often violate this principle. Like a uh, hundred years ago, uh, a little less, 90 years ago, we decided that alcohol was a bad thing. And so we passed an uh, amendment to our constitution outlawing alcohol. That was reversed within 15 years, and everyone admits that the whole thing was a failure. Freedom to drink is better than governments preventing people from drinking. Um, other issues, uh, on other issues, government has stepped in, and rightfully so, most people will agree. For example, child pornography, intolerable, intolerable. But governments must intervene very cautiously. Uh, very often, government intervention produces more harm than the wrong itself. And freedom is a, such an important principle. Korea is the evolution of Korean society during my 12 and a half years here it's been a fascinating thing because I've watched the liberalization, westernization and liberalization of your culture. That's what has happened, that is what is still happening uh, in Korea. And the connectivity is simply another manifestation of that general principle. Uh, your society has recognized uh, or has joined this experiment, I would say, the the underlying principle of which is that freedom is better than control. Largely, it goes back. The reason for that largely goes back to that Latin saying that I used uh, an hour ago: "Quis custodiet custodes?" Who will watch over the so-called police? When you put police, when you start policing uh, the net. Who's going to watch the police who police the net? Who will assure that control is not a worse evil than that which is we want controlled? That's the reason why, and I think um, most of the world agrees with this now. More and more the world agrees with this. Uh, police intervention and monitoring, monitoring, must be exercised, a lot of caution must be exercised in this. Uh, the history of the world is oppressive governments, uh, religious and secular, who do much more harm than freedom does, and the voting of people uh, for governments. Anyway, I think that's true, um, and I think most people agree, and I think most Koreans agree too.
Internet. Yes or no? One. What is most important when writing a persuasive or argumentative essay? Two. How was the Korean government involved in the internet boom in Korea? 3. What is one negative feature of Korea's connectivity? 4. Approximately how many Korean teenagers are addicted to the internet? 5. What is addiction? 6. What usually creates addiction? 7. What are some other negative aspects of Korea's connectivity? 8. What freedoms is one exercising by accessing and putting up websites? 9. What is the real debate about connectivity? 10. What has American society decided? 11. When should government intervene? 12. What mistake did the U.S. government make in the early 20th century? 13. What situation has the U.S. government rightfully intervened? 14. What does government intervention usually yield? 15. What is Korea's connectivity a manifestation of? 16. Why must government control be exercised carefully? 17. Do you think the Internet should be controlled more? If so, how? If not, why not?